Hello, Swatty Carp, Ricky in Isan here. I'm with the lovely girls who are in the back of the car with the baby seats on. Uh, we're out of Son Cran now, so we're out of Thai New Year. Stinking hot. Um, no real immediate solution I can do with the girls at my house with the heat. So I'm gonna get a bit practical, like I am right now. And I'm picking them up for a bit of a day trip. So I'm just gonna take them down to Robinson, the shopping mall back in the city where I'm living. It's only 30 minutes from the village and we'll just spend a few hours there. Gonna grab lunch with the girls if I can. You never know how they're gonna go. And I wanna get them a bit of ice cream. They haven't had ice cream before. I might get absolutely slammed for giving them a bit of ice cream. I'm just gonna give them a little bit of ice cream. Just let them taste it, all right? So I'm gonna focus on the driving. Just leaving the village now. Stinking hot again. It's 10 o'clock in the morning, 38 degrees. Uh, we just gotta yeah play it play it patient I guess for the next month till hot season ends. But yeah, we're gonna see how the girls go with a little bit of a day trip at the shopping mall. And I've got a few other ideas as well, of course. I could just come down to the house also and just hang out with them. But I like the idea of just taking them somewhere, you know. They, I don't want them just sitting in the house all the time. They need to get out there and live as well, don't they? And experience things and see sounds and smells and yeah. Probably helps with their development too, I could be wrong. So just got the tr the pram, the trolley. The fields here are looking nice and bare. And uh, yeah, hoping we're gonna have a good day in the nice air conditioned shopping mall. We'll listen to this the whole way, I think. I can hear, I can hear Lily's enjoying it. The road to head to Bangkok is looking chockers, mate. There are uh, yeah, plenty of people still leaving Isan, heading back to uh, Krung Tep to Bangkok. So now is not the time to be making that drive. I think old mate Isan Drew is making the drive down today. So have fun, mate. Just at the Robinson now. The lovely girls, Gil and Lily, Daisy. Find a bit of food. Get a little bit of something to eat. And so far they seem well settled and relaxed, so that's good, that's what we want. But uh, yeah, getting lots of curious looks from people. They're loving it so far, they're just looking around, looking at all the sights, all the sounds. Just having a good look around. And it's nice and air conditioned, so yeah, perfect for them. Escape the heat. You alright, Dave? We're gonna go to maybe the KFC, but it's too busy. And I can't get this double pram in there. And uh, Pizza Company is looking very cramped too. So I might go upstairs in the elevator and there's a little food court up there and maybe I can just get a cheap little, I don't know, chicken and rice. And I think there's a little kids play area where I can just, I don't know, the girls can't really play, but we can have a sit down and they can, uh, I don't know, just enjoy the sounds, I guess, kids playing. We'll head up there anyway and we'll uh, have a look. This one up the elevator, girls, with another baby. Make a little friend. <laughs> having a good look around, eh? Um, yeah, hopefully they can get some food over here or we'll just set up in the play area maybe for an hour or so. Let them look around. Not sure why, I didn't bring any of their toys. So they're looking at all the, all the kids' toys back there, all the colours. Should have brought a toy or two for them just to play with. But uh, I've got all the foods, I've got all the milks. We'll go to Tops as well to get some more supplies for Grandma's house, but yeah. Should have brought on some toys, eh? Can I get through? This is the main problem. Getting through with this big double pram. No, I ain't getting through there. In the little food court here with the twins. But uh, very tricky, very tricky to try and order some food here. Might just have to uh, try and wing it. I don't, I don't even know what they've got, to be honest. The girl's good. Waiting for a bit of a clear path here, so I can sneak over there and get some uh, wonton soup. Very tricky with the pram and two babies. I guess I've got to leave them for a minute, but I'll be literally two metres away and I can I can hear and see them. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know <laughs> what other option there is. All right, it wasn't easy, but managed to get uh, wonton soup. So, bar mi kiao mu dang. Uh, the girls are getting a lot of attention for the, the minute or two I was away, just over at the uh, 
the little soup shop, the little uh, janitor lady was keeping an eye on them, which is lovely. Uh, I think Daisy's getting a little bit restless now, so I'll smash down my food and then maybe we'll find a nice little spot to sit over there and then I can just check if they, you know, need a nappy change, maybe make them up some milks, give them some water. What do you reckon, Dave? Can Daddy eat his soup? This is going to kick you in the head. Yeah, there's a lot, a lot going on here, a lot going on here. <laughs> and it's there, yeah, the double tra the double pram makes it very difficult, very difficult. But uh, the girls are doing well, and I'm enjoying this, and then uh, if this is successful, then I can take them to other places as well. They want to chill on the camera, but obviously I get a film of the camera, so I'll get them my phone, which is a tablet, and look at them, look at them. You know they're going to be iPad kids, don't you? <laughs> and I need to get two. Who can chew on it first, eh? Who can chew on it first? Uh, yeah. So this is not bad. The noodles, a couple of wontons. Uh, 60 baht all up, so pretty affordable price. And you can just, uh, yeah, just scan pay here, so that's all right. You girls good? So this is what I'm saying. Uh, Lily has a little birthmark here on her shoulder. A little one, it's a little faint one. That's an easy tip to tell them apart when you when you can't tell. But I can really tell what their face is. So that's Daisy's face, smaller face. Lily's got the chubbier cheeks, but uh, that could change it change at any time as they grow up, of course. All right, they seem pretty happy. Let me smash down my noodles. The girls are strapped in too. It's been a bit of a concern from viewers that I don't strap the girls in in the pram, and you're absolutely right. They could easily just you know fall through underneath quite easily. So I've. Uh, Strapped them in, who are you looking at, Dave? Hey? Eh? Who are you looking at? Lily's on the iPad. <laughs> Just gave them their waters. There was a little bit of a competition like here. <laughs> you give one the water and the other one wants the two. Okay, you want a bit more? Whoa. Chill, Dave. Chill, Dave. <laughs> Yeah, she wants some. Okay, is that enough? <laughs> All right, I'll sort, I'll sort the water out. I'll sort the water. So we got the uh, kids' play area here. The girls are looking a bit curious. They're too young to run around. There's definitely somewhere they can come later on. Just gonna head straight up here and maybe show the girls the arcade or the lights and sounds and then we'll go downstairs, get them some ice cream for the first time. What do you reckon? What do you girls reckon? They got no idea. They got no idea what they're about to experience with the ice cream, eh? Alright, arcade, surely this is gonna get their attention. Lights and sounds and too young to play, but just seeing it, seeing it itself is gonna be an experience. Got the Ferris wheel, 30 baht over there. Or merry-go-round, I should say. Go inside a little bit with the girls. Straight ahead in the glass is actually a karaoke booth. It's something they do in Thailand. These arcades have karaoke booths. Oh, they've actually got a gymnasium down the back there. An actual like jungle gym. What are you gonna see? Hey, what's all these lights and sounds, huh? <laughs> they look curious, don't they? It's like they're in a real life YouTube video. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I almost want to play some of these games. The basketball. I used to play the basketball and the boxing game here quite a bit and then they've got this uh, Japanese drum game here which is huge in Japan. I'm assuming it's in Australia now but my aunt has this 
I think on the Nintendo Switch. I'm not too sure. She's got it on some console. And you got a cool little uh, merry-go-round. Cool little merry-go-round over there. So when the girls get a bit bigger, I think we'll be uh, yeah, coming here and dropping a bit of money, eh? We'll just head downstairs and then ice cream time, ladies. Ice cream time. Bit of dairy clean, eh? I want to see their reactions when they taste a bit of ice cream for the first time. You alright? You alright? Alright, we're going to go down the elevator. What is this room, huh? Why can you see daddy two times? Huh? Why can you see daddy two times? Hey? I think you're about to cry. I get the feeling you're on the verge of it, eh? Alright, we got the ice cream. We'll find a little spot maybe over here. And we'll give the girls their first ever taste of a bit of ice cream, eh? Let's see what their reaction's like. A little bit. <laughs> what do you think? What about you? Have a nip not? Oh jeez, she's gonna touch the whole thing. <laughs> not, not a good response, eh? You don't like it? Well you want a bit more, don't you? <laughs> I think they don't like the cold. A little bit more? No? She's sitting upright, I reckon she wants some. Just the cold, I think the cold. They're probably gonna get slammed in the comments. How dare you give your baby ice cream, but they're nine months old, mate. They'll be all right. You want some? Aloy? Or my Aloy? Aloy, May? Huh? No more? Daisy's the ice cream girl, eh? A bit more? What do you think? Hmm? Hey? Oh, you want some more? I can't give you too much. I can't give you too much, girls. I'll have some. Hmm? Hello? Chill, 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 chill. <laughs> well, I reckon, I reckon they like it. They keep coming back for more, eh? Is that good, girls? Special little moment on camera. They're eager for a bit more. Okay, you first. Mm. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. No hands. Just there. Yeah. <laughs> Been here quite a while now. Uh, I think a lot of people just have the same idea as me. They, they come out here to get a bit of air conditioning. Been here at least two hours, I think about two and a half. We'll head to, uh, we're, we're taking back to the village now, 30 minute drive, because they are getting restless. And uh, I'll just check if they need a nappy change or something when I get to the car. But uh, yeah, it's been, been good fun, been good fun. I've really enjoyed this, and I think this must have become a bit of a regular thing, even when they stay with me, bring them, bring them to Robinson, because it's, uh, yeah, just, it's only a small little shopping mall, but it's plenty for them to do here. Yeah. Alright girls, we're gonna head to the car. You ready for the heat, girls? We got a uh, festival on. I'm gonna probably come to tonight over here as well. Uh, you you, you want to come here when the sun goes down, but... Oh! It's hot, it's hot out here. Let's get to the car. Turn it on as quick as possible and pop these girls in. We're getting a real little restless back there, but we're finally departing Robinson now. And we'll head back to the village. Usually when I drive the car, they're pretty relaxed. They're pretty easy going. So yeah, just take it easy because the Thai roads are flat out, especially this time of the year. Uh, it's the most dangerous time of the year to be on the road in Thailand. The death toll is crazy. I think 
in the past like four, five, six days of Songkran and leading up to it, something like, uh, you know, it's probably like, it clears the, the death toll for what you get for the whole year in Australia, just in those six days. Something along those lines anyway. I could be wrong, but it is pretty high. But yeah, we'll just take it nice and easy. Back to the village. I forgot to go to bloody Tops and get them a bit of milk and diapers. So I might be able to stop up before we get to the village at just a small little shop. But uh, yeah, they're a little restless at the moment, but they should calm with the car. 